Here are some pieces to a puzzle. Use them as they deem fit. Fortress from etymonline.com Early 14th century from Old French forteris or forteris meaning strong place, fortification, which in the 12th century was a variant of fortalis from medieval Latin fortalicia from Latin fortis, which means strong, the ischia added to adjectives to form nouns of quality or condition. Now jumping to the Bible, Exodus 22 says, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. A definition, Mizraim, is the ancient name for Egypt. According to Easton's Bible Dictionary, the dual form of Matzor, meaning a mound or fortress, the name of a people descended from Ham, according to Genesis 10, 6, 13, and also 1 Chronicles 1, 8 and 11. It was the name generally given by Hebrews to the land of Egypt and may denote the two Egypts, the upper and the lower. The modern Arabic name for Egypt is Muzer. Now let's look at another historical world of containment. The Great Wall of China is a series of fortifications made of stone, brick, tamped earth, wood, and other materials generally built along an east to west line across the historical northern borders of China to protect the Chinese states and empires against the raids of invasions of various nomadic groups of the Eurasia steppe with an eye to expansion. Several walls were built as early as the 7th century BC. These later joined together and made a bigger and stronger wall and are collectively referred to as the Great Wall. Apart from defense, other purposes of the Great Wall have included border controls, allowing the imposition of duties on goods transported along the Silk Road, regulation or encouragement of trade and the control of immigration and emigration. Furthermore, the defensive characteristics of the Great Wall were enhanced by the construction of watchtowers, troop barracks, garrison stations, signaling capabilities through the means of smoke or fire, and the fact that the path of the Great Wall also served as a transportation that corridor. definition of the Great Wall came from Wikipedia. Now contemplate these next words from what I've just said and what I'm about to say. The word server, blockchain, internet, world wide web, subscribe, account, logging. These are but a few of many words which have binding power. Now I will give you a definition of the character in the Bible Esau. He was a biblical son of Isaac and Rebekah, elder twin who sold his birthright to his brother Jacob. Esau means a mess of pottage, hence used symbolically for one who prefers present advantage to permanent rights or interests. This is based on etymonline.com. The book Obadiah, King James Version. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, 
and an ambassador is sent among the heathen, arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thy set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding out of the mount of Esau? And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob shall cover thee, and thou shall be cut off forever. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou wast one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger, neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in that day of distress. For the day of the Lord is near upon the, all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall I, so, so shall all the heathen drink continuously. Yeah, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plain the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto Zarephath. And the captivity of Jerusalem, which is Sepharad, shall possess the cities of the south. And saviors shall come up on the Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's.